Good evening and thank you for keeping it KTN. Time for business now. My name is Joy Doreen Bira. President Uhuru Kenyatta today addressed the nation in his third search address, giving account of some of the achievements of his administration uh, that he has been able to accomplish. And the president issued orders to Environment Body NEMA and the Communications Authority of Kenya to review the regulatory levies that investors argued were prohibitive to the business environment. He also asked that all coffee licensing fees be waived with immediate effect. These are some of the highlights. And our foreign exchange reserves have improved significantly. We all know that our dreams for decent jobs, more profitable businesses, and more taxes to pay for our health and education are dependent on a strong economy. It is the intention of my administration to extend the SGR to Naivasha, and eventually to the port of Kisumu and to the border town of Malaba. This will open up more than half of the country to increase domestic and regional tr trade. My government completed the expansion of two additional shipping berths at Kilindini, doubling our total handling capacity to 1.6 million 20-foot containers per year. Indeed, in three years, Mombasa has moved to fourth, to the fourth, to becoming the fourth busiest port in Africa, down from eighth three years ago. We opened the newly completed passenger air terminal two, and in addition, we will be commissioning two new terminals, which will increase terminals, which is largely 1A and 1E, by May. 2016, May of this year, and these new terminals will increase our passenger handling capacity by 5.1 million new passengers, bringing our total capacity at JKIA to 7.5 million passengers a year. To improve domestic travel, there are new airport facilities at various stages of completion in Homa Bay, in Isiolo, Manda in Lamu County, Malindi in Kilifi County, Lokichogio in Turkana County, and we are also working on Suneka in Kisi, which we hope to start soon, Kakamega, as well as Mandera, amongst many others. In the last year, we have brought online 634 megawatts of new power, raising our total install capacity to 2,282 megawatts. I will today be tabling before this House the report showing cases of corruption that are already in court and another report showing frozen assets acquired using corrupt means. Kenya's inflation for the month of March has dropped to 6.45% from 6.84% recorded in February this year. According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, the 0.39% drop from last month's 684 rate is attributed to a decrease in the transport index by 0.34% brought about by reduced costs of petrol and diesel. The cost of electricity relatively remained the same, while housing, water, gas and other fuels saw a 0.58% increase food and non-alcoholic drinks index increased by 1.39%. Kenya Airways is set to cut the number of staff by 600 by May this year as part of the National Carriers Turnaround Strategy. In a statement to Newsroom's Chief Executive Officer Mbuvi Ngunze said the exercise will affect various departments and all cadres of staff. He added that the redundancy process will be in full compliance with labor laws, collective bargaining agreements and individual staff member contracts. When Kenya Airways hired transaction advisor PJT Partners to outline a plan for new date and equity funds by end of April 2016, the firm recommended sale and sublease of aircraft, the reduction of waste and catering, and renegotiation of some contracts. To achieve the set targets, Kenya Airways CEO Mbovingunze says the board, after re-evaluating the various options, came to the painful decision that part of the required overhead savings would be derived
derived from a decrease in staff headcount, one that would see 600 of its slightly over 4,100 staff rendered redundant by May this year. People decisions are much more sensitive. And the thing about people decisions, it's not that you can just make a casual approach to them. We have to make, as part of the holistic view of the plan, uh, a solid review of where do we need to take reductions, what sort of quantum do we need, what's the impact of that, and how do we finance it. Turbulent times at the national carrier saw the airline record a 25.7 billion shillings loss in March 2015, attributed to travel advisories due to terror attacks, the Ebola outbreak in West Africa, and rising dates due to new plane purchases and competition from Gulf carriers. However, the airline is working towards a strategic and drastic turnaround that has seen it make radical decisions that have been described as inevitable. Last year we were looking for $200 million in terms of uh, bridge money to allow us to uh, have working capital in order to prepare the long-term capital structure of the business. We drew $100 million mid last year. We are about to draw the second $100 million to allow us to, um, to, to uh, have flexi flexibility in the business today and also to allow the creditor position to reduce. From a bottom line point of view, um, operating profit, we will see an improvement this year clearly because as we told you that uh, operating profit is a, is a strong lever for us. Um, of course, the loss will reduce. Kenya Airways, which is 26.7% owned by Air France KLM, has about 36 aircraft and flies to over 60 destinations around the world, 53 of them in Africa. While the airline's financial losses narrowed in the six months to September of 2015, it is going to take another year or maybe two before the airline can bounce back from turbulence to clear skies of profitability. Joy Doreen Bira, KTN News. And that's it for KTN Business. My name is Joy Doreen Bira. For more news, log on to ktnnews.com or standardmedia.co.ke.